Pastor Mike Park, you have really emphasized the, uh, the high value of a youth minister nurturing into an existence a culture of welcome, unconditional acceptance and love. That yeah. young people know that there's this space created yeah. that when they come into that youth group community, it's not about performance or status. They're mm -hmm. loved simply because they are as God loves them. Right. Well, that's a great aspiration, but it's not easy to do. So yeah. what's your advice to the youth worker? How does the youth worker nurture into existence that culture of unconditional love and acceptance? Yeah, I think like so many things, um, it starts with leadership. So I think it starts with the attitude of the leader himself or herself. Uh, and, and I say that because, you know, there's, there's an enormous amount of pressure that's put on a youth pastor, a youth minister. Um, you know, how many people are showing up to your programs, uh, you know, how, how they feel about it. Uh, I mean, numbers are really the biggest thing, right? So if kids know that I'm only excited when they show up. And if they don't show up, they're going to feel dis they're going to feel disappointment from me. That sends a huge message. I'm only excited about you when you show up to my thing. But if you don't show up to my thing, then I'm going to be disappointed. I, that that just feeds into the the performance oriented kind of world that they've already been living in, right? So what if they had a different kind of message that said, you know, um, I'm going to love you when you're here, and I'm going to love you when you're not here too. You know, it, it, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to seek you out and say, hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be, not just me, but it's going to be a community of leaders that go to you and say, I'm, I'm going to reach out to you and not just expect you to show up to my thing. So I think that's, that's one of the places where it starts. You know, just saying that, that this is a place where people are loved because of who they are, not because of how they perform here in this space. So we talked a little bit about student leadership, right? Student leadership is amazing. I totally believe in student leadership. Student leadership could also become a merit badge of performance. So, you know, if you become a student leader, you're really valued in this, in this youth ministry. If you're not a student leader, you're kind of second class. So how do, how do we help students then say, I, I want to be invested here. I want to come. I see what's happening here. But I'm not doing it to try to earn something. I'm not trying to do it to earn your favor or try to earn a place within this kind of social setting that I'm in.